flame Hold on, I can make it rain Oh, oh, do you hear the thunder? No, don't let it bring you down Look up and see the light You're not alone, don't give up like that Oh, we yeah, got a ways to go Break that wall, let the spirit blow I know you ain't done yet Don't stop to catch your breath You're going higher and higher Higher and higher Let go, set me free Got the streets all I need We're going higher Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins have every intention of walking out of today's game with win number four on the season. It's the Browns going up against the Dolphins. All right, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State and to the newly renovated Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line between the Cleveland Browns and the Miami Dolphins. Carry for Latavius Murray. Latavius Murray. He's at the 40. 20. 10. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Latavius Murray. 76 yards. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. The first play from scrimmage. Some of these people haven't even taken their seat. That's what is commonly known as a fast start. That's what my horse racing friends would say. They call a flyer out of the gate. And guess what? They're in the lead now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Here's Luck. Eluding the pressure right. And some room to work. Fighting down past the 45. And he's going to be out of bounds up around the 45-yard line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. State alum, Jay Ajayi. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. A tackle for loss there. Two last week. He's tough to handle coming off the edge. 
And when you talk about a defensive end, your first thought is, how does he rush the passer? That's where he makes his big plays getting into the backfield. But the best ones can play the run as well. And that's what we're seeing from him, that excellent combination of holding the point of attack and also getting upfield to make plays in the backfield. That one goes for 24 yards. Luck on first down. Completes it to Ajayi. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Jay Ajayi with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And out come the Dolphins now. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November, already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. What are they fighting for now going forward? You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear. <laughs> but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better, right? Well, you know something? <laughs> You're right, because that's part of it. But that's two different mindsets. That's front office mindset, yep. draft position. Where are we going to be and what do we need to get? And then the players and the coaching staff right now, pride. Can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the Let's fact go. they have no shot at the playoffs? Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Funches has it complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. to it through the contact. Incomplete. So possession one ended in six. Possession two likely going to end in a punt. Yeah, that's okay. They just got to get back to what they worked on in the opening drive and continue to make a few adjustments along the way. It won't be exact because the defense will make a few adjustments themselves. Just get back to your game plan. This is fielded at the 27. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for every win possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. On second and ten, Locke. They set up the screen to a J. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. He may try and run for this. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Oh, 
Lock on the sneak. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Now, that was a little bit longer distance than you would expect to see for a quarterback sneak. Normally, it's fourth and one, fourth and inches. But when you get interior linemen trying to get upfield for a pass play, sometimes you can blow past them on the sneak, and it worked well for them. After the run, luck on a throw. Green's got it over the middle. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Here's a Johnny. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back at the 33. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Shotgun snap for Love. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Now Sturgis on to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now working their way back onto the field. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it moves big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. It's caught by Funches. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And the offense lining up first and ten. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you've got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion.
The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Looking to throw. Warren. And down he goes. A sack. They sack him back across midfield at about the 48-yard line. Miles Garrett, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. They'll come up now with the clock showing three seconds to go here in the first. Now it's a giant. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. From the 50, it's long. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Jay Ajayi with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Browns add six to their lead. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. There we go. Oh. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I get confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also, in a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. They run with a Jai. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. scrimmage no gain on the play there so they're left with a third down and six and when you're running the football one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those d tackles and nose tackles no you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them but on that play the defensive tackle had the leverage and he won the battle no gain correct no gain five-yard line four yards on the pickup and that'll bring up fourth down so many times you hear today's nfl described as a space game 
get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. So on now, the former Dolphin kicker. It's Caleb Sturgis. Remember, he was beaten out for that job a year ago by Andrew Franks. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us wanted to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Ten yards still left on second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Throwing again. Warren. And he fires one incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. Operating from the gun. Warren. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. A good return there, 17 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. down, Love over the middle complete, it's Chapman, and all the way in, touchdown Cleveland, a big play there, with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year, and the Browns add on to their lead, and the lead is now 24. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. should be backed up to the 25. He lost two there, and it's third down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. The Dolphins on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. And he'll 
fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time. Let's see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Drops it off to Ajayi. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Jay Ajayi on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Browns are pouring it on. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Well, partner, I guess that answers the question about whether they're going to sit on it or not. <laughs> it does. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half, you know? I think that's the way they'll go. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Partner, I think the easy thing now would be to just abandon the run and start throwing the football at all costs. But I've been in so many games where it doesn't work running the ball, it doesn't work running the ball, and then something pops, and now you get something going. I'm not so sure to just abandon your game plan this early in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? Now I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can... Jay Ajayi's gonna go! And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland! Jay Ajayi, 42 yards. And the Browns continue to roll. Point after now from Sturgis. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. 
other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to get themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. On third down. That's Rice. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two and it brings up fourth. Well, Brandon, so much for halftime adjustments. They still can't get anything going on the ground. It may be time to loosen things up and start flinging it around a little bit. They'll try and throw for it here. Trying to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. 